Hi, my name's Nicola and I'm the newest recruit at Scott Country. I'll also be doing a little bit of work on the night vision show. On this month's night vision show, we'll be looking at the new Ridgeline Monsoon Elite Smock, which is a huge improvement on its previous incarnation. And we'll also be taking a look at the new Arrow from Starlight, its high sensitivity model. Our work experience student, Scott, will be reviewing some of the products he's been using during his time with us. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. This is the new Starlight Arrow, a high sensitivity version. We've covered the standard Arrow in the night vision show, but now we're going to take a look at the high sensitivity version, which uses the Watek high sensitivity board. The main difference between the standard Arrow and the high sensitivity Arrow is that the high sensitivity model has the Watek board inside. So it produces better performance in terms of the distance you can see, um, better clarity when it's equally matched with infrared illumination, and generally just gives a better image at distance. The standard arrow, Starlight claims up to 200 metres detection range, this they claim up to 400 metres detection range. In, the, in practice we've seen with the arrow, certainly 100 to 150 metres, it works perfectly, similar to the Photon performance. This, you're similar to the Pulsar's DFA 75 in performance, so you know 200 metres are comfortable viewing distance with this at night. The Starlight Arrow High Sensitivity Night Vision is a small compact digital night vision device which is designed and manufactured here in the UK by Starlight Night Vision. It's a rear add-on device that is best used in parallax adjustable scopes and it's offered a configuration that will be suitable for use with either air rifles through to 1722 and centrefire rifles. This is the Arrow High Sensitivity model. The detection is increased, the recognition distance is increased and the clarity at distance is also increased. IR illuminators are an optional extra. Here we have the Starfire which is currently included with all arrows. There's the Quantum Firefly, which is Starlight's high power infrared laser illuminator. And then there's the Nightmaster. You see on the top of the device, there's a little weaver rail here. Your illuminator is attached to here, and you can then align them with your optics. They're available with various fittings to suit various scopes. Different detector boards instead of the standard model, and then the high sensitivity model. And you can choose which infrared illumination you need. The high sensitivity model uses the Watek high sensitivity board. It basically turns the gain up electronically to really high levels and low light conditions. In low light conditions this can sometimes give you additional noise so it's important to match your infrared illuminator to your device. As long as the IR matches the scope's field of view it equals extra range and gives you extra viewing distance. Because the screen is brighter and you can see through the scintillations or any noise that would be appearing in the device, very similar like you would get with a Gen 3 tube night vision device. Basically, when you attach your IR onto the top of the device, it needs to be spotted down to match the scope's magnification. So a clever analogy is if you look at, for example, a saucer and a golf ball, you'd have your golf ball IR size, your saucer IR size, which you would match to the size of the objective lens of your device. When you match your IR to the output of your device, you have a perfect picture. Hi, I'm Scott Morrison. I've been working with the Night Vision Show and Scott Country on work experience recently and I had a chance to test out some of the gear that they've uh, got available for sale. So let's see some of the products. So what I have here, which was previously mounted on my head, is the Excel Cam, which will take stills and videos and can be mounted onto your head, onto a helmet, or onto vehicles or guns. Uh, it produces high quality crisp images and comes in a rugged shell, which is also waterproof. The shell comes in this colour which is camo and it will also come in transparent depending on what you want to buy, they're the same price. What else I have here is the FLIR thermal imaging device which is a handheld device weighing in at 320 grams uh, top mounted with four buttons which uh, makes it very easy to use, it's very simple there's the brain power button, the front mounted light activation controls is there the settings control which switches between black hot, white hot and insta alert or is here and the top piece, which replaces the still imaging on the previous model, is now, it's now replaced with a zoom function, which will give you two times zoom on the device. Uh, it has an active range of up to 450 meters, 
and it is a very good piece of hardware available from Scott Country. Uh, what else we have here is the Yukon Stinger, which is a uh, night vision device. Uh, it comes with three buttons again, very easy to use. It's the main power button. It has a built-in laser, which is controlled with the second button along. And it also has recording software inside, which uh, is activated with this button, which uh, helps cut down on the amount of equipment that you'll be carrying. Now, the device itself, again, is handheld. It's a monocular, and it's, uh, it's again available from Scott Country. It has an active range of 250 meters, and it's a very nice piece of equipment. I've tested it out. It's very, very good at getting nice quality in seeing stuff in com almost complete darkness. Now these three products, they are all available from the Scott Country website. They are very, very good pieces of equipment and I highly recommend them. If you're going into the great outdoors during a typical British summer, it's really important to stay warm and dry. In howling winds and pouring rain, the latest catwalk fashions just aren't going to cut it. That's why it's important to invest in quality outerwear that will protect you from the elements all year round. Redesigned for 2014, the people of Ridge Ridgeline have taken on board the comments of people who wore the smocks previously and they have massively improved both its breathability and its waterproofing. However, the fancy new RL Tex Pro membrane ensures it is, the smock is highly waterproof and also any excess moisture is vented away when you're being particularly active no matter how careful you are with the layering underneath. New for this year is also the sizing of the smocks. Previously they were in larger sizes, mainly for men. But this year they range from extra small up to 5XL. As a guide in a normal high street store on a very good day I'm a 12. This smock is a small. We caught up with Keith, our cameraman for the Night Vision show, who's been wearing a monsoon smock for quite some time, and now he's got the new Elite version. What do you think about it, Keith? The new version is a fair, fair improvement on the old one. I've worn the old one for many times, and yes, I used to sweat, but that was my own fault because I would wear a cotton T-shirt underneath. It gets wet, so I got wet. But this, last night, I was out on the hill filming foxes, and I must say, it was a big improvement, but I had the proper t-shirt on underneath it was one that wicks away but it's it's a bit softer it's decent pockets on it I certainly like the zip on the side there it just when you're bending down certainly down low with a camera it just makes getting down when you get old you struggle to get down a bit but you can get down a bit more if you just unfasten this bit of the zip so yeah I'm looking forward to testing it more in the, in the weeks ahead thank you on top of all the technical stuff the smock has everything you would expect from a Ridgeline product a large adjustable and removable hood, a high chin guard, cuffs that you tighten and loosen as the need arises, a couple of handy waterproof pockets at chest height, as well as hand warming pockets lower down. You can adjust the waist, the zip on the side makes it easier to slip the smock over your head or gives you a bit more room when you're bending down. It feels really soft, but at the same time hard wearing. At 149.99 from Scott Country, it really is a worthwhile investment. It is ideal for stalking, rough shooting or wild fowling, working on the farm, wildlife photography, even filming for the night vision show. The Ridgeline Monsoon Elite Smock, tried, tested and worn by people who live and work in the great outdoors. Well, that's it for another exciting edition of the night vision show. Next time we'll be reporting from the CLA Game Fair, where Scott Country will have a stand, and we'll be putting the new high sensitivity starlight arrow to the test right here in our new night vision tunnel. Thank you for watching the Night Vision Show. <laughs>